uh, as more than 4,000 Haitian migrants have been encountered at our land crossings just this month alone. And in February, more than 11,400 migrants from Haiti were encountered so far this month, though it is tracking to be similar. Here's the thing, though. It's going to take one to three months for these individuals who are currently fleeing to actually get here. Now, Natasha, we can tell you the repatriations are still happening. The U.S. Coast Guard sent back 65 migrants from Haiti just this week, but the repatriation flights are being threatened. Brandon Judd confirming that those could be halted if the unrest continues there, the chaos continues there, because, Natasha, they have to have permission to land those flights back in Haiti. Meanwhile, Border Patrol officials are warning agents to prepare for an uptick in the number of Haitian migrants coming into the U.S. The warning comes amid rampant gang violence in the Caribbean nation, and the U.N. estimates heavily armed gangs now control around 80 percent of the capital of Port-au-Prince. This is forcing thousands of Haitians to flee their homes, and it's not clear just how many are headed here to the U.S. So this crisis could be coming to the coast. Obviously, it's kind of not an if-but-when situation.